Scorpio, what the hell is going on with you, baby? It is Scorpion Reds. I am back at it one time for the one time to let you know what the heck is going on with us for the month of June. Yes, indeed. Shout out to everyone who clicked this video. Thank you so much for showing me the love. Shout out to all my new subscribers. What's up, what's up? All right. If there's anyone who would like to book a personal and private reading with Scorpion Reds Tarot, you can do so by clicking that about tab all right first thing you want to do is book and then link book and then link all right so go ahead and click click that booking link that says scorpion red tarot as simply book me select your reading and then double back over to that page and click my instagram link and send me a message just say hey reds this is so and so i booked with you on this date of time and we're gonna link up there for that video chat and we're gonna find out what the t is all right now if you do not have an instagram or if you prefer not to use your instagram you can check out google hangout which is a simple application you can um, download from whatever app store that you have all right <clears throat> use my email which is scorpionreds at gmail.com again it's scorpionreds at gmail.com send me a message and we'll connect there if you do not want to get on camera or if you just want a video recap if you would like me to record the whole session of our reading um we can do that there's an add-on in the menu where you could select a private upload and uh recap all right you can select that and I will record the video and I will send the link of your private video upload to that platform. Now keep in mind if you do not want to get on camera, make sure that you do not send a message pertaining to the information surrounding your question. Only send what you want to know. Don't tell me why you want to know and then, you know, spill your heart out. Make sure that you only tell me the question all right and then I'll go ahead and pick up from there and we'll just keep it going all right so I don't need uh, the person that you're dealing with their name their birthday I don't need any of that stuff like that all right just tell me what you want to know and we're gonna rock from there okay um, so if there's anyone who would like to give any love to the page I want to give a big shout out again to my baby girl Kylie to Amanda to everyone that's been sending love and light to the page I'm happy to be by booking personal private readings sending and stuff through um, Amazon, the Amazon wish list. Um, I also I've started a Patreon. All right, I started a Patreon because one of these decks that I just got is a bit explicit only. Okay, boop adult only, boop adult only. Okay, let me move that over there. Let me move that over there. So we do got a lot of decks here that we just got so I want to give a shout out to everyone and then you know we're using Game of Thrones today honey we use a Game of Thrones we use a Game of Thrones today alright so shout out to everyone who has been supporting the page um, and you can find me on Patreon I don't have it all the way set up but I will be setting up the Patreon so some of these decks with the explicit contents and honey when i'm trying to tell you that adults only deck when i'm talking about the t the t the t in regards to y'all sexual secrets will be coming out so if y'all want to find out what the real dirt is honey and i will be letting y'all know when all of that is set up but y'all can check me out on patreon all right um on Patreon, we will be doing, you know, the free live readings and all of that stuff like that. So once you become a, re um, a member on Patreon, you will be able to get access to me when I get online and I do free readings and stuff like that. That's a membership benefit. And like I said, y'all will be able to have uh, explicit content that is not allowed on YouTube over on Patreon. So y'all can check me out on Patreon. Y'all go ahead and look up. And it's adult only again. My Patreon is adult only. Okay. So look up Scorpion Red Tarot. Scorpion Red Tarot everywhere. And you got me. But yeah, I'm still setting that up. So y'all give me about 24 to 48 hours and y'all gonna be good. We go, ooh, honey. And I'm gonna be on there real soon. Very soon, honey. Very soon. Very soon, my friend very soon anyway Scorpio let's get into the reading my friend okay so if you guys want to support the page again um check me out on patreon like I said give me about 48 hours 
for the VIP adult only content. Um, you can check out the Amazon wish list. And then again, shout out to everyone that's been sending um, um, love through uh, PayPal. Y'all make them tea leaf uh, cards possible and all of this stuff that you see here possible. So thank you again for all of the love and support. Let's get into the reading. Enough of the jibber jabber. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Scorpio. You already know. You already know how we do this, okay? <laughs> Father, you know you be having to grab us tight and keep us close to you. <laughs> Father, you know you be having to keep us close to you. you be having to keep us tight, Father. Ding! You right, Father. Did I say something right? Ding! Okay, you right, all right. So, Father, thank you so much for just being our best friend, man. You are miraculous. You are giving. You are forgiving. And you are just forever faithful to just seeing us grow. And you never give up on us. Even, Father God, when we be wanting to give up on ourselves, you don't let us, Father. Oh, I ain't mean to go there and just get real emotional with it, but you already know, you know, how Scorpios are. But Father, we thank you so much. We thank you, 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 because we are seriously going through a lot of transformations right now, Father, and we are at the tail end. Oh my God, I just want all my Scorpios to understand how close we are, honey. And you got to understand that we're already in this new phase. We're already in it. We're already in it. It's just the kickoff, honey. It's like the homecoming. You in the new arena. You ain't walked through the door to your homecoming party yet, honey. And Father God, we thank you so much for the blessings. Because we know. Ooh. We this close. Okay. I'm reloading. Boom. We back. We back. <laughs> we back like we ain't never been gone. And that's the thing that people, they've been sleeping on us, Father. They've been sleeping on us. And they don't understand how Scorpios rock. <laughs> they don't understand how we rock. We about transformation. We about reinvention. We coming back. We reloaded. <laughs> Load up the gap. <laughs> what? We in your face with it. We in your face with it this time. They ain't got no choice but to deal with us. Like it or not. Like it or not. Father God. <laughs> thank you so much for just us being courageous. And being bold. Because there's a lot of people out there that don't have the guts. To get out there and get in the mud and get on the floor like how we do. Even sometimes when we wrong. We could go through our stuff and recognize when we wrong. And check ourselves. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust to get rid of stuff that don't longer don't no longer serve us about ourselves in the name of Jesus. Really recognizing being able to look at ourselves in the mirror as hard as it is and realizing, let me change me so my environment can change. We in a new arena now, you guys. We're in a new arena. Are you ready for the homecoming? I'm seriously asking y'all down in the comments, are y'all ready for the homecoming? <laughs> Father God, we are ready. We are ready. We like that little pig in the backseat of the Geico commercial. We <laughs> Okay. We enjoying the ride, Father. Thank you for continuing to bless us. No matter the mistakes that we've made, you allow us to get up and dust ourselves off and say, Father, forgive us. And truly, now we digesting the lessons, Father. Thank you for being patient with us, Father God. Thank you for allowing us this destination of this new arena. We're going to do right with this one. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Father God, <laughs> please give us guidance for the sign of Scorpio for June. Thank you so much for all the blessings and the abundance that you've given us in the past, present, and the future, dear God. We love you so much, Heavenly Father. And thank you so much for loving us. You are gracious. You are giving. You are loving. You are nurturing. There is no place in this world that we would rather be than right here beside you, Father God. And thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Give us guidance. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. 
last month somebody um who got blocked <laughs> was down in my uh comments it was like a time stamp it was like yeah she's um she's she's finished with all that uh jibber jibber something said something rude y'all can time stamp me now <laughs> but be respectful some people don't feel for the prayer but some people need that prayer and some people love that prayer you understand and they love to hear me talking before i actually get into the reading so you know y'all just please be respectful down there in the comments because i know it'd be a lot of new energies and people that be coming into these readings and stuff like that. But please be respectful because I'm like no reader that you've ever seen in your life. And you will get your ass collected and gathered. Okay? Okay. And I'm not saying that to my OGs because it's been a lot of new people coming in to these Scorpio readings. Which I appreciate the love. I appreciate the love. But I need y'all to tame the cuckoo. I need y'all to tame the crazy and stuff like that. Okay? Because my OGs, I'm trying to tell you, we laugh at y'all. And we don't want y'all to embarrass yourself over here. So I just want y'all to be cool, okay? Listen, change. <laughs> change in reverse. Some people don't be wanting to change. And a lot of times, I don't even think that it's the Scorpio. Sometimes I be thinking it's the cross watches and stuff that be down in the comments be tripping. I need in, in every, I don't care which reader y'all, whose page y'all going to. I need everyone a general level of compassion. To be demonstrated when people come on people's pages. And the only reason why I'm addressing this is because the Scorpio reading has gotten popular. And I thank everyone and everyone that know that this is what I'm saying is not applying to. They know very well that I'm not talking to them. So shout out to all of y'all for being mature. But for the people that need to hear this. Okay. I don't care what reading y'all are on. Be respectful in the comments. Even when it comes to you guys being upset with whoever hurt you. Talking about killing people and doing magic on people and all that stuff. I'm going to block you. I don't like that energy on my page. Okay? So I love y'all. But I want y'all to love yourself. And if y'all that hurt. Or y'all talk about hurting people. Or y'all got that much anger in y'all heart. Y'all need to go talk to somebody. Especially if y'all going to look and y'all dealing, y'all doing magic and stuff, and y'all, y'all need to go talk to somebody about that. Okay, I need y'all to make sure that y'all being respectful, not just in my chat, but in everyone's chat, as a general courtesy and respect, because your mama should have taught you better, right? Because we all grown, right? Oh, okay, all right. So we gonna keep on going with the reading. Anyway, now y'all can timestamp that. All right, all right, all right, all right. So listen, Scorpio. What we got here in regards to your spirit numbers is change. And it came out in a reverse. So what I see here, hmm, there are some things in your life that some things need to change and some things need to say to stay the same. And I really feel with this kind of turquoise energy right here, I'm getting a lot of throat chakra energy. And I kind of feel like it's certain things that you don't want to change. Because you don't feel like it needs to be adjusted. Because it is who you are. And I totally get that. However, I feel like there's certain things that you need to have a little bit more compassion about. And that's the crown chakra. That's something that you need to come to a level of understanding with. So change and compassion. So, and I heard attitude. I feel like some people feel like their attitude and their temper is, well, number one, it's a defense mechanism. You know what I'm saying? Because you're defending yourself. So, I feel like a lot of times, not a lot of times, the vast majority of the times, whatever the hell you have an attitude about, I feel like you are justified however I feel like there might be, it's not what you're saying, it may be how you're saying it and how you let things build up where you explode to the max. You know what I'm saying? And I'm a Scorpio and I do this too. I do this too. So when I just heard attitude, I already knew what they was hitting on. 
And I ain't even gonna lie, I feel like I don't need to change my attitude. You know? But to some aspects, I do because if there are certain things that you want to come into your life, you can't be that way. You feel what I'm saying? So you need to be more compassionate. And shoot, maybe that's even with me to myself. Me even where I probably just can't make them people leaving wild statements in the comments. Maybe I could have came off more compassionate saying it. But at the same time, I could only be me. However, Father God is saying. So I'm using me as an example with just now. You see what I'm saying? So I feel like it wasn't nothing but what I wrong with what I said, but I could have changed the way I said it and could have said it with more compassion. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm taking that for me, because I'm a Scorpio as well, but I definitely feel like there are certain things in regards to relationships. And just not in relationships, sexual and intimate relationships. Attitude-wise with relationships with their family. Attitudes and relationships with co-workers and other colleagues and friends. I feel like... And the thing that is the problem, like, literally is... And it's not that we're not compassionate, because we are compassionate. I feel like a lot of people don't. We try to explain how we feel and things, and people kind of take what we say as a joke. And then it's like by the time we explode, it's like boom. You know what I'm saying? And it's too late. And it's like people try to say, oh, you need to be more compassionate. You need to be more sensitive to how people feel. And you like, why? I fuck it. You see what I'm saying? You like why? I ain't changing shit. <laughs> Y'all need to be more compassionate. I am compassionate. You see what I'm saying? So it's like I feel. I really do feel. Let's let's get some more. Oh my God, says. But I really do feel like because I go through this myself. And I and, and it's not that I don't. I it's not that I feel like I'm above change. Scorpios feel like a lot of times people don't listen to us and we are compassionate and we feel like we communicate our feelings well I feel like we are such we're so giving and that's another thing that we need to change that maybe necessarily we don't see that we need to change we give too much of ourselves because we're we are so compassionate we are we give so much of ourselves to each other, almost towards the way there is nothing left, or people have pushed us so far, and by the time we're exploding, it is just like complete cataclysm. It's catastrophic. It is just like done. Done, 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 done. It's done, you know? So anyway, what is this? The King of Swords in reverse. Okay. The six, the six of cups in reverse. I feel like someone learned how to be so cold. This is a Scorpio man, or and or this is a Scorpio woman that's dealing with uh, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius man. Whoever this man is, which I'm really thinking that this is a Scorpio man. I feel like there's something that happened in their childhood that made them so kind of cutthroat the way that they are. I feel like this. This man right here, whatever happened to him in his childhood, it made him, he had to fight a lot in his childhood. He had to defend himself. He had to be the bully so that he wouldn't be bullied. You see what I'm saying? Like, he had to be the alpha. The, what is it? The alpha dog or the alpha or something? He had to be the alpha. You know what I'm saying? To survive. And I feel like there's a lot of compassion in this. There's a gentleness in this person. But I feel like it's so far removed from them. It's like you you can't touch it because of shit that happened to them in their childhood that made them like this. You see what I'm saying? And I, I heard liar. Like, this person is, like, 
they cutthroat. You know what I'm saying? They, this person is cutthroat. And they learn how to be like this since they was a child. And I feel like that's just... That's how they played around when they was kids. Like, they used to just, like, rob and, and do, like, street shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's just, like, this person is grown man and all of that. And I'm not saying this is a street individual. I feel like this person has progressed since then. I just feel like this person is very cold. Very cold. It could possibly be physical physically abusive could possibly be physical abusive because they grew up so hard i feel like this person didn't have a childhood almost but this person is hangman in reverse this person is tired of you know i feel like something happened to this scorpio or this um gemini libra or aquarius man where they seen that it's gonna be a struggle to change this but they realize that they have to, you know, make this transition and this change in their life because they're really focusing on trying to be more compassionate and loving because, like, being this cold-hearted individual, like, this bachelor, this person that, like, this is a bachelor. This is someone that is most definitely non-committal. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't give their heart to no one. You know what I'm saying? Like, to, like, it is not even that they... And it's not even that they won't tell you the truth. They're just not going to tell you nothing. You see what I'm saying? I'm not going to tell you nothing. You see what I'm saying? And I feel like this person has kind of been hung up in this way for so long. And something happened to them recently where they were able to see their self and how they treat people. Or maybe how people view them from the outside looking in. And I feel like they're ready to come down off of that. Um, this person might even be willing to seek counseling or something like that. I, I see... Um, you know, like possibly might be going to counseling or maybe trying to do some self counseling where they be sitting outside and like flowers or some shit like that. Something about flowers. But I definitely see what it be like around a lot of greenery and like outside or something. Like maybe this person just like outside thinking and maybe that's their oh and drinking and drinking. Okay, and drinking. So as you're moving away and you're realizing that you need to change, one of the things that you need to change is you're out is drinking, okay? And it ain't just alcohol. It could be other substances as well. Because it's like this person is like, yeah, I'm going to change from that lifestyle, but shit, I got like eight cups of this good good right here and a couple of um, joints of some ganja and shit. I'm about to smoke all this shit. Like this person binged out before they walked. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, I'm going to get down. I'm going to stop doing this shit and everything. I'm going to change, but let me just go ahead and go ahead and go ahead. Go ahead let me go ahead. You know? <laughs> Shit, I've been doing this shit since I was a motherfucking child. I'm about to motherfucker buy them out right quick one time for the one time. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers ask me, are you hot? Nah, I'm gonna lie like shit. No. I'm like, are you drunk? No. Fuck you asking me for. Stop asking me all these dumb ass <laughs> Brother. Brother. Like, nah, like, but for real. Like, this person is definitely seeing. And they need to change. And they need to be more compassionate. And a lot of the reasons why they acted the way that they do is because of their substance abuse issues that they've had since they were young. Like, they've had these issues since they were young. Yes, Trump. It's been like, um, it's, it's been their vice. It's been their addiction, you know. And it's a, been a battle. It's going to take a lot for them to kind of change these behaviors. Because I feel like every time that they try to walk away and try to do right it's like the beast be calling them and be screaming at them and that could even be like the streets meaning old friends like robberies i'm hearing robberies um some might be doing robberies some might be doing some type of robberies or some shit like that some might be pulling licks Hmm. Hmm. You're going to fucking drinking cars again. Yeah. Someone most definitely with substance abuse issues. I feel like 
the game, like the game is sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Like, it's like they realizing that they need to walk away from the game. Like, they got to walk away from the motherfucking game. You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit, and it's like every time that they try to walk away, it's like they're like, nah, like, hold on, but we can motherfucker pull this lick. You know, these bitches about to come holler at us and shit like that. Look, I got the lick. We could do this. We could do that. And it's just like so hard. It's, it's, it's more easy to consume temporary temporary uh 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 pleasures you see what i'm saying fast money fast pussy fast you you understand what i'm saying and it's like this person has been so drunk in love with this lifestyle and this way of living like they never kind of got up under that tree to kind of see what their life could be kind of outside of this sex drugs and rock and roll and like now this person i'm trying to tell you this person realizes that this is an addiction like this is an addiction this is like a bad vice that I have and like I'ma say it's sex drugs and rock and roll it's like even the thrill I feel like the, even the thrill of doing bad shit like you know what I'm saying like this person a go like I'm just like snort a couple of lines or you know what I'm saying like have a drink or something and like let's go you know what I'm saying like this person not scared of nothing like this person is a rebel this person not scared of shit and it's like, honestly, if you would take this energy in this type of bravado, and if you was, I mean, and I'm not saying to go be no police, but I'm just saying, like, if you would have, like, went a different route with that when you were younger, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could have been, like, the top of the police force or, like, one of them investigation, like murder mystery type of detectives or some shit like that or like a nah I don't even see you being that I don't even see you being that cause it's in the reverse but I do see you being somebody that you don't have you don't have no fear in your heart you see what I'm saying you don't have no fear in your heart and you could have took all of that you could have took all of that and did something else with it instead of getting caught up in the street life and or whatever the fuck it is that you're doing. I mean, not street life. I mean, I'm sorry. Because I got a reading the other day about somebody doing some street shit. Give me guidance for my Scorpios. Passion in the reverse. It says, do what excites you. Get fired up about life. Increase your energy levels. But this is in the reverse. And that's why I'm saying, like, I feel like whoever this is, what excites them is the street life is danger. Is like, you know what I'm saying? Sex, drug, and rock and roll. And I feel like what God is trying to tell you right now is you need to back away from this passion. And you guys, I'm sorry because I feel like this reading is, this is a male energy I don't necessarily no, I don't necessarily feel like this is a male energy. This could be a female energy too. But I'm saying typically because the predominant card is the king of swords. Um, but this reading might not be for everyone. I might pull another spread as well. But other shit might come out that might very much so well give you the answers that you need. But this is someone here that really needs to change. And this is the Game of Thrones deck. So we're going to figure out what's going on. What's going on in this game that we playing out here in these streets? This six of spades, yeah. Did, oh, my God. I hope this is not the same energy from that um, T reading I did the other day. Bought someone into some street shit that they ain't no business being in. But basically, this is the six of, this is the six of spears. Okay, the six of, uh, six of wands in reverse. So... In the upright, this is someone coming home to victory, being successful, having won a war. They're being um, celebrated. They're being recognized. They're getting attention. They're being glorified. They are being literally legitimized as a war, hero, a war hero or something of that nature. So what I'm getting here, I heard negative attention. I feel like you're getting a lot of negative attention. I pray to God this is not that same fucking boy. No, because this is somebody. Because when I do the T, I don't know whose energy it is because it's collective. Now I know it's a Scorpio. Which makes sense. Makes sense. 
Six of coins, a whole bunch of sixes, Lord Jesus. All right. So I feel like you're in an industry that you give, you give a lot of your time in your industry too. You give a lot of time and your energy too, but I don't think that you make a, enough, uh, as much money as, uh, I can't even speak. As much time as you spend doing whatever it is, you're not receiving the dividends back. You see what I'm saying? Like you putting a lot of effort into something that you're not necessarily getting the residual back to match the amount of time and effort. So like this could be someone who's hanging out on the corner, getting a lot of negative attention. Now you hot, the police all on you and shit, and you ain't even making that much money like that. Like you barely making enough money to get your re-up back. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially like if you get some weed or something and you smoking half of it with your friends and you selling, you giving half of it away. Like, it's like someone that ever don't know what they're doing. You see what I'm saying? And they not, they spending more than what they getting. And they're getting a lot of negative attention on them because they don't know what they're doing. You see what I'm saying? It's like the the game is giving, but it ain't giving to you. You see what I'm saying? And I feel like you picked up like a nasty drug habit or hangman in reverse again. You got to get down. You got to get down. You got to get down. Seven of swords. It's like you need to kind of find a way to maneuver and kind of sneak your way out of this type of lifestyle because I feel like you're very resourceful. You are very smart. I mean, it's the king of swords up there, clearly, but it's in the reverse demonstrating your aggressiveness and how you can outsmart people in manipulative ways more than nice ways. But what Spirit is trying to say in a nice way, you need to take all of that smart that you do to con and manipulate, pull off robberies or whatever the fuck it is that your ass be doing up there. Because you be doing some shit. Whoever this is been into some real sex, drugs, rock and roll, street life type of shit. Like, you need to use that, that brain of yours and you need to figure out how to weasel your way up out of the situation. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like without kind of getting caught like you know what i'm saying and i feel like that's really what you're trying to do you're trying to figure out a way to get out of this situation without people realizing what you're doing because it's like man this shit putting a lot of negative attention on me i ain't even making as as much money as i thought i would be like shit i ain't about to know eight of swords he's like i'm not going to prison i'm not going to prison yeah Straight up, I'm not going to prison. And the Queen of Coins in the reverse. I feel like you're not going to prison. And not only that, I feel like you don't want to disappoint your mother. You know what I'm saying? Because if something was to happen to you and you end up going to prison, like I feel like your mother would literally sell her house to get you out of there. And you know that shit. And it's like I'm not I'm not about to do that shit to my mother. This is most definitely the same energy of the person that was in that tea. Because your mother was in the tea and too. Whoever you are, baby. Hey, baby. Don't worry. I got you, boo. I don't want you to say nothing in the comments. Just keep watching. As long as you listen it, because you be listening. Because this wouldn't be coming up if you don't be listening. You know what I'm saying? I got you, baby. And the thing is, is like, what Spirit is trying to say is, you go hard as shit. Like, you brave. And you smart as shit. And you know you gotta get out of this shit before this shit gets stupid. Destiny. You got a different destiny than these motherfuckers. You not like them. And you know you not like them. That's why the motherfuckers don't... Spiritual strength. I feel like right now... Spirit is trying to push you up and trying to elevate you. But I feel like... You got this street life reputation to uphold or something that you almost feel some type of way about taking this different path and just changing but just spiritually you know that spirit is holding you and I feel like that's 
the reason why you've been able to pull off things and be able to make it thus far doing the things that you're doing unscathed and untouched you know what i'm saying because spirit got you but i feel like instead of you rejecting this spiritual strength i feel like you really need to embrace it to kind of get you through this situation that way you can really trust your intuition because especially out here in this motherfucker shit that you and you need your intuition you need god you understand what i'm saying don't reject that don't reject that okay but you know your destiny. You know your destiny ain't doing this shit. Fertility. Oh, and you might have somebody pregnant right now. All right? And this just might be for my Scorpio ladies, too. It might be someone expecting a child on the way. All right? So if you're not expecting a child, you better watch what you're doing. Because you definitely over there creating one. Okay? And or, and or, you know, just something new is just growing inside of you. You know what I'm saying? Like, something new is growing inside of you. And that's why you're so emotionally withdrawn from this sex, drug, and rock and roll type of thing like that. And that's why I'm trying to say it's like, you know you need to change, but you don't know. It, it's just like you don't know how to change and it's like you really don't want to change, but you know you got to change. And it's just like this level of just compassion and shit is just opening up for you and certain shit that you used to love doing. You just don't love that shit no more. And you just emotionally withdrawn just like by the water. Y'all might just be in the shower a lot. In the shower just standing under the water just thinking and shit like that. Because it's like something new is growing inside of you. You know, this like this spiritual strength that you've been rejecting. Because like it's something in your heart, your intuition been kicking in. It's like it's your destiny is leading you somewhere else. And it's just like, man, this shit is like. And it ain't that you a punk by no means. Like you can handle the street shit. But at the same time, it's just like, man, I'm not about to go to jail. Fuck around with these dumbass motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? So. You guys, let me let me do another quick spread real quick. Please give me a spread for a different group, please. Thank you so much for that message. Please give me a spread for a different group real quick. Let me see. The Hierophant in reverse. The Six of Coins in reverse. The not, it's saying the same shit. Same shit. You're like, don't ask me for a different message. I just told you what the fuck the message is. We stand on motherfucking goddamn. We go, we stand on goddamn on, 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 on the mark here. Listen, this is something you're doing something that you damn well know that it's outside of your uh, principles. This is not the teachings that you grew up on. You know that this is something that if everyone found out what you were doing, that you would be ashamed of it, or or it's an embarrassment to like your mother, your church, your membership group or whoever whatever the, whatever you're doing you're doing something that's going against the rules and going against traditional standards of living okay and whatever you're doing it's like you're almost regretting giving so much of your time to it you're regretting that shit because it didn't add up for you it didn't add up for you it's not paying off not only that you just feel like the situation ain't going nowhere like you see everybody making all this money, doing all this shit. It's just like, well, shit, my money ain't popping off like that. And if shit, I'm not about to be sitting out here for the next goddamn 20 years trying to be. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. It's just, I just don't know how to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just waiting. Like, this person is like, was waiting on something to come through to just like solidify like, man. You know, but I feel like this person's kind of done waiting on an answer for this shit. It's just like, man, I got to get the fuck out of here because something, something happened with this person where they was just like, man, I'm not going to jail behind this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like you've been doing this thugging, drugging, drinking, robbing, selling drugs. <laughs> shit, you've been doing this shit since y'all was kids. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like you just lost the passion for that shit. And I just heard stomach ulcer. Somebody got some some problems wrong with their stomach because of like they're drinking or something. Like something wrong with their stomach.
Can you get a stomach ulcer from drinking? I just heard stomach ulcer. How the fuck you get stomach ulcers? Whatever, anyway. So, let's get into love. Ooh! Okay, hold on. Ooh, keep an open mind. That flew across the room, honey. Keep an open mind and love. Your soul may may differ from your usual type and expectations. Ew. Ew. <laughs> he better not have no corduroys like that boy got on. <laughs> Wedding. This person will... Oh. Mm. So, I feel like... Keep an open mind. Because I feel like this person that's coming into your life is someone that is recently divorced. And I thought I just heard that's drama. <laughs> Somebody just said, uh-uh, that's drama. Uh-uh, that's drama. But Scorpio, guess what? It might not be a whole bunch of drama as you think it is. Like, keep an open mind. Okay, just because your situation was drama don't mean a situation was drama. You know what I'm saying? You never know. And this might be a nice man or this might be a nice woman. And things could have just maybe not worked out. You never know, like... Maybe because this person wanted kids and the other person didn't or something. You know, you don't know. So, I feel like it's going to be... You're going to meet someone that you normally wouldn't talk to. Because it's like, oh, I don't... I don't. I want to be the first time I get married. I want to them, my first time to be their first time. But, like, what if you blocking out the one? Hmm. Okay. Listen to me, Scorpio. Listen to me, girl. Listen to me, boy. Pablo. Listen to me, Pablo. Give me guidance and love. Ooh, playfulness. You know, like, I don't feel like playing around like that. I don't want to play with motherfuckers like that. Shit, that motherfucker was already married to somebody else. Shit. Tuh. Mm. Ooh. You like this person already? It's tall. Oh, Scorpio. Stay optimistic about your love life. Because you're talking a lot of bullshit right now. Because you just like, listen. I don't want to be with nobody that's been married before. I don't even want to play like that. I don't even want to play like that. I don't want to. I want to be this first. This person's one only true love. I don't want to be with someone that loves someone enough that they married them before. I don't want to be their second love. I want to be their number one only true love. Like, and I know, listen, this is so Scorpio. I'm sorry, no, this is Scorpio. Stay optimistic about your love life, please. Like, you won't be blocking your best. <laughs> Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance, Scorpio. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance, Scorpio. Gracious, alive. You need to heal family issues. Like I already told y'all, was somebody up there that got family issues and shit from their past. This shit didn't. Now, this ain't got nobody dealing with no street shit. This is all the Scorpio. This is love. Listen, everybody got some shit going on in their family that they may need to address. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like. <laughs> Your love life benefits from you forgiving your parents. You guys seem... I feel like your parents' divorce affected you. And you knew how you felt as a child dating... Uh, 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 seeing, being a child and seeing your parents dating and exposing you to new people after the divorce and I feel like you don't want to be that person in this man or this woman's life because you know what it feels like to be that kid but I feel like you need it that's your issue that that's that's you know what I'm saying and, and that's you need to you need to change your mindset around that because you might be blocking out a real good person what just because a person has been married before and had a failed marriage they don't deserve love that's not that's not cool. Don't retreat from this person. Give him a chance, Scorpio. You need to heal some shit. You need to heal some shit, Scorpio, cuz I don't feel like it's this person. I feel like it's you, baby. It's something going on with you that you need to heal, you know? It's just cuz that you not the first person that the person is married doesn't mean that you might 
that you're not the person that they're going to spend the rest of their life with. You know? You might not have been their first love, but you may really be their true love, Scorpio. So, positive thinking, my dear. Here. And that's something that you need to change that I think that you're not changing. And you need to give and be more compassionate about yourself in the way that you think so that you can attract things better. You know what I'm saying, baby? Scorpio, I know I made a huge mistake. All right? All right? So this is how Scorpio is feeling. I know I made a huge mistake. Please tell me how Scorpio feels towards this person. I keep comparing you to others. Mm, Scorpio. Am I good enough for you? So I feel like, yeah. This is definitely some new love, Scorpio. This is some new love. And I feel like whoever this person is, whoever this person is, number one, Scorpio still has some issues with in their head with the type of people that they used to date in the past. Or whoever this new person is, I don't think that this person is anything like the people in your past. And I feel like the way that Scorpio was comparing this new person that just this this new person that just got divorced. This person ain't nobody like the people from your past. And now you really are thinking shit, am I good enough? Because I used to date little fuck bum ass niggas. You know what I'm saying? And I really do feel like, you know, you made a huge mistake. Don't don't retreat from this one. Cause this 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 might be what you may be saying by the end of the month of June if you walk away from this one just because this person has a past. We all have a past. And and it also it looks like your own negative thinking as well. Am I good enough for you? I'm still trying to find myself. So like I said, we are still in this point right now, you guys, where and, you know, congratulations, because we're in this point, Scorpio, like I said, we're in this brand new arena, so you are attracting, you are starting to hang out with motherfuckers that's a little bit more cooler than you are, and bravo for that, because give me some motivation to step my shit up, look, I already done stepped my shit up, goddamn 10,000 on 10, okay, I done already put 10,000 on 10, okay, let me in, we in there, you know, so I just feel like, number one, your soulmate may differ from your usual type of expectation. This person is different. And as you can see, this person don't got no problem with committing. They done married somebody before. It just ain't work out. So don't go put no love and hip hop spin on what the fuck happened in their relationship. Bitch, you don't know what the fuck. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. Don't be coming into this situation with no old thinking and shit from some old bullshit that you've seen on Love and Hip Hop. How you seen shit happen on people on Love and Hip Hop or whatever done happened to you in the past or some shit from your family. Don't do not do that. Stay optimistic, positive thinking, and faith will bring you romance. Do not retreat from this one. You're going to feel like you know that you made a huge mistake if you do. Because you're going to keep comparing this person to other people's and you're going to realize, shit, am I good enough to even be with this motherfucker? Shit, I'm still trying to find myself. I just got in this arena. I don't even know if I'm even qualified to date this person, but they're here, honey. And they like you and they want you. It's not your booty. It's your beauty. You understand what I'm saying? It's not your booty. It's your beauty. Okay? I feel like this, I feel like this Scorpio is like literally sitting there just picking at this person, trying to find something not to like about this person. And I really don't think that you really give a fuck about the fact that this person has been married before. I feel like you feel intimidated because you've never dated someone like this. Ooh. Ooh. And this is the card that fell out. This is how this person feels, Scorpio. Maybe we're too different. I feel like you might have fucked this up, Scorpio. Like, I feel like you you psyched yourself out of this one because you, you, I feel like you almost wanted to find something wrong with this one. 
I don't know how I feel anymore. Scorpio, if you don't fix this, we'll be together again. Like, I feel like this person just feels like y'all are just not on the same page. Whatever they were feeling about you, they don't know how they feel anymore. I mean, because you over here feeling insecure, feeling like shit. Am I even good enough to date this person? You trying to find shit wrong with this person. Well, ain't nothing wrong with this person. This person is all confused like shit. I thought we were on the same page and shit, but maybe we're just too different. I don't even know how to fuck to feel anymore. Shit. Maybe we'll be together, you know, again soon or something like that. Mm-mm-mm. I wasn't ready for you. Yeah. I... Uh. Wow, Scorpio. Now, Scorpio, now have we not been waiting for some new love energy to hit this table, y'all? And then we finally get it, and it's like we blow it. <laughs> trying to find something wrong with a motherfucker and it's not even that there's nothing wrong with this person it's us it's us because we still trying to find ourselves in this new arena we just feel uncomfortable because we followed our destiny here we made it to wakanda we made it to wakanda you know what i'm saying so it's like yeah i'm wakandanese but you know what i'm saying i just got you know i'm just like this person is being honest with you letting you know that they just you know what I'm saying? Had a divorce and they're newly single and this, this and that. And it's just like instead of you just embracing and getting to know somebody, I feel like you just, you know what I'm saying? I feel like you was just like all for some shit. I'm still out here just trying to find myself. I don't even know if I'm good enough for you because I keep comparing you to people in the past and you way better than anything I've ever dealt with before. And I know I just made a huge mistake. I feel like at the end of the month, y'all are going to, I'm asking y'all not to reject this person. I'm asking y'all not to reject this person, especially if the only reason why you do not like this person is because they've been married before. And you just feel like you don't feel like playing around with that. Because you want somebody with it. <laughs> Clarify this for Scorpio. Give me guidance for Scorpio, please. Okay. Mm. The companion card. Your tenor card, okay. But you know what? At the end of the day, like... And this person is trying to lure you out from being so defensive and shit like that. Like, come on. It's just like, man, we ain't even got to be nothing serious right now. Like, let's just be cool. Me and you could just be companions. We could just hang and just chill with each other. And just let's get to know each other. Strength. Like, come on. Come on, Scorpio. Scorpio, listen to me. Listen to me here, sir. And we got the fucking chariot car. Bitch, I'm not. I'm not. Listen. Do not reject this person. This is the Ten of Pentacles, okay? I feel like this person is a little bit older than you, too. It's cool. Listen. Like I told you, this person is going to differ than anybody that you have ever been around before you in a new arena Scorpio none of, none of this shit is going to be everything's going to be new it's going to be uncomfortable if you're going to reject everything that come your way you're going to be alone did you come all the way over here to be alone you don't know what the fuck you like now like you said you still trying to find yourself you don't know what the fuck you like so definitely don't be in here with no negative um, thinking like am I, am I even good enough for you no we're not doing that we're not doing that Scorpio just be cool with each other you understand what I'm saying? Y'all just be cool. Y'all just hang out. Just be companions with each other. And I'm trying to tell you, look what's behind you. Start off like this. Just be cool. Just be companions. This person is trying to lure you out from your fucking cave that you've been keeping your bar yourself barricaded inside. Stop being so close or stop being so defensive and come out with this nine of wands. Do you see this girl trying to lure you out? Be more compassionate, okay? 
be more compassionate you need to actually change like stop fighting this change please it's time to change listen you have the strength to do this shit i know the devil behind your back i know the devil behind your back trying to lure you in to your old ways the sun is shining right on your back baby you ain't even worried about that fuck nigga you ain't worried about him i already done told you you don't play no shit you don't play no shit so you ain't scared of that motherfucker? Do you not realize that this is the fall of fucking wands? That if you actually give this shit a chance, something that's different a chance, you won't be skipping off into the sunset? And you see, these people ain't the same. One look like a goddamn, what is this? What is this thing? What is that? I don't know what, uh, Half man, half ho Ooh, half man. Bitch, didn't I say we was going to Wakanda? I said we was going to Wakanda. Bitch, I did not say. Okay, Scorpio, I'm done. I'm done. We done made it to Wakanda, bitch. I'm gone.